Hey everybody, welcome back to another brand new episode of Random Pack Rips. This is a semi-regular series that we do here, opening up some random packs from different years. We've got some cool ones today that we haven't done recently. I don't think we've done any jumbos of 2021 tops in about a month or two. It's been a long time since we've done 2018 top series two, looking for the Ronald Acuna Jr. short print. And we've got 2019 tops series two which is one of my favorites and some other stuff as well a lot of jumbos of 2020 chrome so let's go ahead and get into this into this thank you very much for watching tonight everybody hope everybody's having a great tuesday evening and thank you to marcus all of the cards open in this video will be going to marcus so without further ado let's go ahead and get started and let's start things off let's start off with the 2021 jumbo packs there's three of these Grand total of 43 total packs today, and I have to apologize in advance if I knock the camera over. I am working with a new uh, setup here. It's a temporary setup. I forgot my, there's a nice Alec Baum rookie card, but I forgot my tripod over at Heather's house, so I, I had to rig up a tripod of my own, and I'm using two gravity feed boxes, gravity feed boxes that would go on the walls at Target, and I just opened up one of them and set my phone right on the lip of that uh, gravity feed, uh, I guess, door that comes out. And uh, it's kind of awkward here looking around the gravity feed box, but hopefully I don't knock it over. There's a nice Pete Alonso gold foil card. We've got a Mount Castle gold. Very nice. Mount Castle has been off to a rough start this year, but his uh, gold parallel worth a bit of money for sure. And another Mount Castle. It's the Mount Castle and the Pete Alonso box. That's not a real autograph there. That is just a facsimile reprint auto. So nothing to go crazy about. Although some people were buying those. I hope they're not doing it anymore. They were buying them on eBay and paying a premium as if they were real autographs. So some folks that are new to the hobby were unfortunately being taken advantage of. Um, all right, so let's go ahead. We'll do all three of the jumbo packs first. And then I've got some more jumbo packs of 2018. I've got some Bowman Chrome from 2014. I've got some 2017 Top Series 1 and 2. We've got another Alec Baum right there. Having some good luck with his rookie cards so far. we got two of those. All the good stuff is always going to be in the middle of each of these packs. Davey Garcia up in the big leagues now with the Yankees. Yankees trying to rebound from their, what were they, like 5 and 10 in their first 15 games, starting to come up a little bit. I think they've got, what, nine wins now as of yesterday. Tough loss for the Yankees in Baltimore. Baltimore Orioles doing pretty good. Pirates doing good, too. There's Ian Happ. I think the Buccos won tonight, and they have a winning record now, which is pretty awesome. And we have an Andres Jimenez. That is possibly a short print, but uh, a little distracted here by the hit. It's a Jose Altuve. Unfortunately, it's a Jose Altuve. Game used memorabilia card. A lot of people dislike Altuve, and... For good reason, with the whole 2017 cheating scandal, there's a Robles Chapman who Altuve homered off of. Kyle Lewis is now healthy. And in the Mariners' lineup, saw him batting cleanup the other day in their lineup. All right, there's Mookie Betts. We've got Seth Lugo and just some base cards here to finish off that pack. I'm excited for 2021 Top Series 2. That should be coming out sometime in probably a, around mid-June. It's usually the time it comes out early to mid-June. So we're, we're about a little over a month away from that. There's Bobby Dalbeck, rookie card. He's not been doing too good this year, batting ninth in the lineup a lot of times for the Red Sox. There's Joe Adele, rookie card. He's in the minor leagues. Joey Bart, I'm waiting for who's going to be the big breakout rookie card here. There's a Dylan Carlson along with the Joey Bart. Those guys are always back-to-back -back in the lineup, so to speak, in the collation of these. And it looks like we may have another hit coming up. Since these are from a jumbo box, you get three hits per box, so... Three out of ten are going to have a hit, and we have another one. It is going to be a MLB sp Spring Training Colorado Rockies manufactured patch. That counts as a hit. I don't personally. I don't think it should. It's a nice 1951 70 years of tops insert card from Mookie Betts, and that will do it for our first type of pack, the 2021 Jumbos in the books. A couple nice cards there. Let's go ahead and keep the ball rolling. How about we now go and bust open just a couple chrome packs that I had. 2014. Just two of these. Gregory Polanco featured on the front. We've got Albert Pujols there. There's Zach Granke back with the Dodgers. A first of Stuart Turner and Chad Pinder first. Nothing crazy going on in there. Let's check the other one. 
Big the packs I'm most excited for, as usual, our 2019 Series 1. There's Jonathan Papelbon acting like a crazy man. Not sure why, but uh, probably got a save there. There's Mark Trumbo. We've got a first of Cam Perkins and Jose Pujols. Probably no relation to Albert Pujols. But next up, let's go ahead and rip open these bad boys. Almost a half box of Topps Chrome. And as you know, Topps Chrome has been pretty crazy. I feel like the jumbo boxes are over $600 a piece. These are about $50 a pack right now for just 13 cards. Good shot at an autograph in one of these packs. The odds of finding an autograph in a chrome pack, a chrome jumbo, are 5 out of 12. So pretty darn good odds of finding an auto. I bet you find a, at least one. Let's see what we've got. And there it is, Tim Lopes, or Lopez. Not sure how it's pronounced because I don't know much about him. It's his rookie card and it's his autograph from the Seattle Mariners. So we've got an auto. That's uh, So technically we're at three hits right now. One autograph. There's a nice Frankie Lindor. Refractor, there's Chris Archer, we've got a Brock Burke rookie card, Jonathan VR, Zach Collins rookie, and Patrick Corbin is the last one. Grandal and Zach Collins handling the majority of the duties back there. Chicago White Sox, they're starting to heat up a little bit. And this guy's been heating up this year. Justin Dunn doing pretty well. Nice rookie card right there, and we've got his teammate, Kyle Lewis rookie. We'll go ahead and sleeve that one up since he was the rookie of the year last year. Brian Reynolds for those buckos who are... Maybe the surprise team right now. How are the Pirates winning right now? How do they have a winning record? They just beat, I think, the best team in the American League. There's a nice Jordan Alvarez rookie, I believe, coming into the game. Um, they were the Royals the best team in the American League with a 14-7 and record? I think so. They were at least leading the Central Division there. Pretty tight game. Speaking of the Royals, we've got a Whit Merrifield on the back. Here's a Gavin Lux rookie card. That's a nice one. We'll sleeve up Gavin. See if we can find another autograph in here. I'm hoping we can find another one. A Gavin Lux Refractor. Very nice for Marcus. We'll sleeve that one up as well. Xander Bogarts. There's Acuna Jr. And Whit Merrifield is the last one. We've got two packs of Chrome left to find something decent in here. Speaking of finding something decent, I hope we can find a bunch of decent stuff tomorrow. We've got Bowman Hobby tomorrow. A whole bunch of boxes. There's a nice Bryce Harper. Uh, bunting, that might be a short print because Bryce Harper doesn't bunt. So that's a pretty rare card right there. Nice refractor. I'll get it sleeved up. There's a Glaber Torres negative card. Mike Trout, 85 style design. But yeah, anyway, we'll have Bowman Hobby Boxes tomorrow uh, live for you guys. And then on Thursday, we'll have Diamond Kings live for you. A bunch of cases of those. And then on Friday, we got Bowman Jumbos. So three consecutive live streams. This is our last chance to find an autograph from these Chrome packs and there it is junior fernandez not the biggest name but it's our second autograph two autographs and what are we at four total hits there's mitch hanniger he's been uh, rebounding nicely after a few years of being banged up a bit Aaron Nola is the last card there all right marcus let's see where do we go next um let's go ahead and get the hobby packs of 2020 tops update out of the way there's five of these I know how some of you dislike this product. I'm personally not a huge fan either. We'll just go through and see if we can hit an autograph or a relic. And maybe we'll get one of the top rookie cards, which are going to be Randy Rose Reyna and Trent Christian. But you never know who's going to be the next uh, big rookie. Maybe there'll be some somebody in there that's uh, there's a nice Bo Bichette um, not rookie card, but rookie debut. It's probably worth about a buck. Those rookie debut cards are never worth nearly as much as their actual rookie cards. There's a Gavin Lux rookie debut card as well. They have 10 of those in the update set. I'm sure most of you are well familiar with this one. There's Nick Turley, a.k.a. the Turley Bird. We've got Jonathan Davis. There's Mark McGuire. We've got a foil card coming up, and it is going to be Francisco Lindor. Nice one right there. And um, nothing else crazy in that pack. If you haven't figured me out by now, I'm going to be saving my favorite packs for last, which is going to be the 2018 Series 2 and the 2019 Series 2. But they'll be coming up very shortly. A couple Mike Trouts in this pack. Can we get three Trouts in one pack? We got his teammate there, Albert Pujols. Let's do our final pack of Tops update from 2020. Uh, there's Albert Pujols. They printed a lot of 2020 Tops updates. There's a nice Boba Shed 85. We'll get that one sleeved up. But you know what? 
people bought it. It's not on the shelves anymore. Nothing would stay on the shelves. Even like opening day, there's nothing stays on the shelves. It's crazy. Um, all right, let's see. Where do I go next? Let's do our, we've got up here, we've got three Heritage Hobby Packs. Let's go ahead and rip these open. And we'll just basically see if we can hit an autograph or maybe uh, a Luis Robert rookie card. Lots of rookies in this set, but no headlining names, really, besides the Robert. We might have a headlining name in our next round of packs we'll be opening up. That'll be the 2017 <coughs> Series 1, which is the better of the two series. From 2017, looking for the Aaron Judge rookie card. Maybe a Bregman, maybe maybe a Glass now, maybe a Moncada. Aaron Judge getting thrown out at third last night in the uh, Yankees versus Orioles game. Whole bunch of uh, hubbub over the replay system breaking down there, and Aaron Boone not getting the challenge off in time. So let's do that right now and see if we can find the Aaron Judge rookie card. We've got a Joey Votto right there leading things off. There's David Freese, former Bucko right there. John Gray. We've got Ben Revere, Robin and Homer. There's Nolan Arnauto. We've got a gold card of Paul Goldschmidt. That one's numbered 121 out of 2017, in case you're wondering. Matt Carpenter, rookie card of Brian Goodwin. And the last one there is a Kyle Bearclaw. So no judge or Bregman or Glass now or any of those guys. Let's check out the other one. I got a Marcus Semien on the top. There's Josh Bell rookie card. Okay, that's one of the nice ones. Josh Bell will take it. You can probably go ahead and put him in the top. Oh, I don't know. Five rookies from this class. There's a George Brett 1975 reprint rookie card. Tyler White, David Dahl, and Zach Britton. Got this other 2017 pack. This is Series 2. Not nearly as good as Series 1, but you never know. Check it out. I only had one of these laying around. Um, Kelby Tomlinson, Gerard Dyson, and Dexter Fowler. So we're getting close to the main event for me. It's that bottom row. I guess we could probably move it up a little bit now. Since a lot of the packs have been opened already. A whole bunch of Series 2 from 2018 and 2019. Let's do these archives packs and see what we can find. 2019 Topps Archives. Looking for Tatis. So let's see if we can find him. Maybe we'll find an autograph. It's a nice Marian Rivera. Unfortunately, that's a printed auto on there. There's Justin Upton. Let's check out our next pack. I like archives a lot. Every year I look forward to it. I think it's a fun set. Catfish Hunter, Tony Gwynn, Jose Ramirez, Topps Magazine. I used to like Topps Magazine. Had a couple of those growing up. Don't know whatever happened to all my publications. I used to have Baseball Weekly. I don't even know how many Baseball Weekly issues I had. Hundreds from pretty much every Baseball Weekly from maybe 1991 through like 99 or something like that. I was a subscriber. I got it delivered to my house every single Wednesday. Before that, I would pick it up at the gas station on my bike. I forget what it cost back then. Was it like 50 cents? 75 cents? Maybe a dollar? I can't remember. It kept going, going up, it seemed like, from year to year. But the internet killed Baseball Weekly because I didn't need to go and look at the uh the back anymore i used to love the back they used to have pages and pages of stats in the back and uh, once the internet took off didn't really need uh that publication anymore at least a lot of people didn't need it and it, i think it's still around as sports weekly but not nearly as popular all right let's do these 2018 series one packs and then we will move on to 2018 series two packs and then we got the for me at least the main event the 2019 series two so maybe we'll find an autograph or relic in here. Pretty good chance since they are jumbo packs. Three out of ten are our chances. So we've got about, I don't know, I would hope to find maybe one hit in here. We'll see what we can do. It's going to be in the middle of the pack if it's going to be in here. There's Nikki Delmonico rookie card. A nice Dom Smith rookie card. We'll go ahead and get that one sleeved up for you. Marcus, Eric Fetty. Here comes all of the inserts. Nelly Cruz, Don Mattingly. Garrett Cooper, rookie card, not too bad. Kim Gallagher and Jock Peterson, unfortunately. No big hit in the middle. That's where your parallels are going to be. Jack Flaherty's a nice hit. Jack Flaherty, rookie card. Sleeve him. You want a Cespedes. Brandon Phillips. I wonder if Cespedes will ever be a shell of his former self again. He's just, I don't even know whatever happened to him. I know he opted out of, I think, last year. 
started, I think he played a couple games and he opted out and I've totally lost track of Giannis Cespedes. Here's our next one. Pack number two, we've got Andrew Kasher and we have the hit or one of the three hits from this box. It looks like it might be a relic. It looks like a thick card. Let's see what it is. I'm hoping there's going to be an autograph on there. This almost seems like the exact same pack, at least some of those cards I thought we just saw. Is that an Indian coming up? Maybe. It'd be nice if it's a... No, it's a Brave. It's going to be a Freddie Freeman. Let's uh, see who it is here. Willie Calhoun rookie card. So we've got... Oh, dang it. It's not a real relic. It's a manufactured relic. Take a look at it. Still counts as a hit, but it's... Um, basically the same thing that you would get in a blaster box those are usually just worth maybe a buck or two sometimes up to five for people putting sets together not too exciting for me what looks like there's a roll of toilet paper coming out of Rymel Tapia's hair that's not supposed to be like that do you see what's what's going on with this card um I think there's there's, um, yeah, that was like sticking to it. So, I mean, I'll try to keep that there just in case Marcus wants to uh, attach that card there <laughs> or attach that to the card just for uh, old time's sake. We're reminiscing with this video. That was kind of weird. All right, let's do this last one. And then we'll get into 2018 Series 2 and see what we can find. Uh, all right, so we've got a Mookie Betts, JBJ, Jackie Bradley Jr. There's Miguel Andujar, rookie card, Brian Anderson, rookie, Brandon Woodruff, rookie card. He's uh, a guy that I'm going to sleeve. Clint Frazier's hitting under 200, but so is pretty much all the Yankees starting lineup. A whole bunch of guys hitting under 200, struggling this year. Aaron Judge. Hey, we've got an auto. It's Parker Bridwell. How about that? So only three packs that I chose out of the jumbo box. And Marcus, you hit two out of the three hits. You got the manufactured and you've got the autograph. We're up to three autos today. And with the other hits, I think we got six total hits. Not too bad. Let's hope we can find another one. However, I think the last um, couple packs might be retail packs. I think everything up till now is hobby, but... Um, so that's why the six hits. These are retail, if I'm not mistaken. Now, a blaster box of these costs about 150, and I think this might also be about 150 a piece, um, somewhere in that range. Let's, yeah, these are. There's no hobby H on here, so we'll start with these. Looking for the Acuna a short print. Let's see what we can find from series two. There's also a nice Glaber. Short print rookie card. There's Austin Hayes rookie card. He had a nice throw to gun down. Aaron Judge at third base the other night. Nothing crazy going on in that pack. For Marcus, let's go into the next one. We've got Blake Snell, who's, of course, now in that Padres rotation, battling the likes of Clayton Kershaw right there. That's going to be a nice season series. That's pretty much must-see TV, Padres versus Dodgers. As those two teams battled out. We've got TK, Tom Kohler. I believe he may have retired. We've got Rod Carew. Nice 1983 style design. Jacoby Jones, Rainbow Foil. There's King Felix Hernandez. Cole Calhoun. Brian Shaw, who was literally terrible. Ever since he left the Indians, he was pretty darn good with the Indians with that disgusting breaking ball of his but just did not work in Colorado for him. Jorge Soler former home run king from a couple years ago we've got a gold of Dylan Maples whatever happened to Dylan Maples I remember finding some of his cards some of his autographs in 2018 and um, I don't, don't even know what happened to him kind of lost track of him so no Acuna short print yet it's tough to find the odds of finding it um, probably not that great right now. If you're wondering how often you can find a short print of Acuna, it's roughly one per case. There we go. Shoei Otani rookie card, who is, um, I don't know if the season ended today, he'd probably be the MVP just because, uh, as of yesterday, he had seven home runs, which was tied for the major league lead. And then he's hitting over 300. He's pitching. He's doing it all. So Shohei Otani cards are skyrocketing right now. Imagine if you spent a bunch of money on Otani cards and you're like, eh, I got to get out and stop the bleeding like a couple months ago because all his cards went down so much over the past couple of years. 
And now they're skyrocketing back up. We've got a show code here coming up, which is going to be long since defunct and no longer good. We've got a nice uh, Adrian Beltre out of 50. Nice, uh, I don't know if that's gold or what. It looks gold in the background. We'll get that one sleeved up for you, Marcus. That's a nice one. I still wish they would do the show codes. They don't do those anymore, though, in the packs. Used to be able to pick up some free MLB The Show 18 packs. We open them up and improve my Diamond Dynasty team by buying some packs of 2018 Series 2. Look how easy it used to be to find gold cards. That's our third gold card in like eight packs. You could probably open a whole like hobby box of 2021 and not find a single gold card nowadays because the print runs are just so much higher. So three gold cards and like eight packs. There are no Acuna, which is a shame, but... Now we go after Tatis. Let's see if we can find them. We have, what do we got here? Eight packs, I think. These are the 16-card retail packs. Let's see what we can do for Marcus. All right, so we need a landscape card. That'll So something looks like that Woodruff will tell us that it could possibly be an Acuna. Or not an Acuna, sorry, a Tatis. There's other great rookie cards besides Tatis in here, of course. There's Aloy Jimenez. There's Pete Alonso. And there's a short print rookie of Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Let's see if we can find any of those guys. There's that security tag that the stores put in there. Kristen Stewart. And I should probably start to memorize who the indicator is for the Tatis because I love opening 2019 packs. Pretty much like... I feel like I sneak these packs into here like once a month or so. I like to open some and try to find the Tatis. But as you guys know, there's usually um, a collation to these cards where you can tell what card's coming up based off of the previous card. Like we saw with the Mike Trout, the indicators, the Carlos Beltran. There's Ben Gamble Gold, Manny Machado. And he's not going to be in there either. We have four packs left. We haven't found any of the good rookies yet. We'll hopefully get one of them here for Marcus. Let's go ahead and see what we can find. Thank you very much for watching, by the way. Everybody, hope that you guys have had a great Tuesday. Please make sure that you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so. Also, don't forget to tap that bell and like the video. There's Adam Simber rookie card. We've got a Brandon Lau Walker Bueller gold cup card there's otani's gold cup card and no tatis three packs left for marcus for throwback thursday this week we will be doing a 2006 fleer tradition box i've never opened that before that should be fun hopefully we can find some good stuff in there and then we'll be just live for the uh, pretty much the rest of this week now We'll have the new release preview videos for you tomorrow. Hopefully, we'll get all those filmed as soon as I pick up my cases. And show you what Bowman Hobby, Bowman Jumbo, and Diamond Kings are all about. Here's a Clint Frazier leading things off. Robert Stock rookie card, Tommy Hunter. And there's some insert cards. I would much rather have the Tatis than any of those inserts. I'm sure Marcus would as well. Kind of take up some valuable base card spots in there. Here's our final pack of the video. Tatis, yes or no? Let's find out right now. There's a Taylor Ward rookie card. Pat Neshek. Patrick Wisdom. Malik Smith. we got a Pablo Reyes rookie card. Detroit Tigers. Josh James. The inserts. J.D. Davis. I see some... I don't know, guys. I don't think we're going to get it. No, unfortunately, we did not get the Tatis. But it was fun to look for it. So, Marcus, thank you very much for sponsoring this video and allowing us to open it on camera. Uh, thank you, everybody, for watching. We got three autographs, three uh, relics, and a bunch of nice cards. So, uh, I always like doing those random card videos. I've got, uh, you know, some boxes laying around, some packs. And it's always fun to put them together and open them up in uh, kind of like a... A hodgepodge mixed bag type deal instead of just like a straight box opening of something from time to time. But speaking of straight box openings, tomorrow we've got Bowman 2021 Bowman Hobby. We've got a preview video of Bowman Jumbo for you as well and Diamond King. So we might have three preview videos for you tomorrow. And then we have Bowman Live tomorrow evening as well. Tons of stuff going on on the channel. I hope that you will check it out. Have a great rest of your Tuesday and I'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody.